All right, so let me start since I'll, I'll kick it off about because I think the, fr the first thing that occurs to me about what getting in the game means is going to surprise people because the first step in getting in the game is understanding. You cannot get in the game unless you understand that it is a game. And what, who you are, what life truly is. So, so that's the first step. You, you, if, you, if you think, if you think that life, your career, a relationship, your bank account, all those objective things are reality, then you will never get in the game. You will stay in your head. So you have to, in order to play the game, as I said, you have to know that it is a game. And that's the first step in my mind, what I want to point to on that weekend. I'll leave, I'll leave it to you guys to, <laughs> to take the real steps after that. I'll, t I'll handle that part. <laughs> Well, I, I, I think when I think about getting in the game, there's what most people mean when they say, oh, but I've been doing this for years and I'm not getting anywhere, whatever it is that they're endeavoring. What, what they mean is they've been thinking about it for years. They've been flirting with it for years. They've gone on a few dates. You know, they've spent a bit of time. They've done a course. They've, but there are other things that you're just up to. It's just what you do. It's just what you're, you're doing. It's not a question. It's not a, hmm, I think I'm thinking about this. I, I'm enjoying this. I'm doing a little bit. Like the games that we're in, the games that I'm in, are what I'm actually up to, not what I think I should be up to, not what I think might be cool to be up to, not what... I think about a lot in my spare time and read a lot of books about. It's if you were following me around with a video camera, you would see me up to this. This is what you would see me engaged with. And it's the, 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 the trick and where I really like what, what you just said, Garrett, about understanding is you, you've actually got, it, 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 it's not obvious when you're thinking about something and flirting with it, that you're not really doing it. They, 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 they feel really similar until you're actually doing something. And then you go, oh yeah, this is what it's like to really be in the game. But it's, it, 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 in a way, you know, there's that great line from the usual suspect that the, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was to convince the world that he didn't exist. Like, like one of the greatest tricks of the mind is that we can absolutely convince ourselves that we're, we're up to something we're just not up to. And the difference is palpable, but only on the far side, only once you're actually in the game. It's not obvious before you get in the game. That's, that's right. And, and in my mind, the, the mistake that we could, that people can make is to think that there's a deliberate doing that takes place from the thinking stage, so to speak, to the actual manifesting stage, as you mentioned. The, 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 we cannot deliberately say, okay, let's, let's get off our ass and go. It, it, it happens. Yeah. It, it happens. And that, that's important. They're not the same thing, obviously. One is the state of, of, um, freedom of um, inspiration, passion, love, and the other is quite the opposite. And and that state is not capable of having, being this state. It it, it happens. It ha it just happens. Um, and that's why you say that 
you don't notice it. You don't notice you're, you're here you don't, until you look back. So the mistake that I think we've got to be clear about is we're not saying, hey, you've got to get off your ass. Like we're not suggesting to someone, you've got to get off your ass. And that's why I think understanding, understanding is so important. Because without understanding, we're just going to be the typical coaches that crack the whip. Crack the whip. And in the world of performance, those coaches that crack the whip are the ones that, um, uh, that's, that's, over, or that's overwhelmingly the prevailing model. No understanding, just crack the whip. So that's why I point to understanding as being so essential as a first step. Well, I was thinking about what it means to me, and I wish I'd gone first. <laughs> because you guys have said such cool stuff. But I, and, and what I'm going to say is going to sound like crack the whip, but it's not. It's like, it's, it's a flavor that sits on both sides of the doing and the not doing. And it's, it's related to a, an Einstein, apparently Einstein said that the eighth wonder of the world is compound interest. And I was thinking about that with regard to getting in the game. Because the thing is, what you see when someone's in the game is they get compound interest in terms of their learning and their having insights. And it's all, it's all happening because the, like the way I sometimes put it is there are things you can learn when you're in the game, when you're, uh, and this is where it sounds like cracking the whip, but I, but it's the same, it's the same whether in the game means working your ass off to do something or whether in the game means taking the day off and just enjoying, uh, enjoying relaxing. It can mean the same whether you're, um, like I remember years ago, I was, I was, there were these books I was reading that I was fascinated in, science books. And I was waking up first thing in the morning and I was reading them and I was reading them voraciously. And then I had this guilty voice in the back of my head saying, Jamie, you should be reading something spiritual and meditative first thing in the morning. It's like, I want to read these science books. I was like, well, that I was in the game and I didn't even know it. The, the thing that was trying to get me to do to do something, and I suddenly realized, oh, this is enthusiasm. That's enthusiasm. The words mean the God within, and that's God guiding us. And it doesn't necessarily fit in with our ideas of what being in the game should look like, or, uh, or, or, or even our ideas of of what we think we ought to be doing in order to be achieving the things that we said we should be setting out to achieve. But it's almost like, getting in the game is kind of like, kind of being lined up and not Doing your, you're sort of out of your own way to some degree. And when you get in your own way, you don't, I mean, I, I'm just, these are descriptions now rather than like what you should do, but that's what it looks like to me. You, there, there's this calm, and I'm sort of selling the benefit of it, but it, there's this compound interest that comes when you allow yourself, except it's not really an allowing it happens, but and, and it comes back to understanding because understanding is what allows you to get out of your own way, I guess. I mean, it sounds shonky as hell when I put it like that, but, but that it's kind of that. We, we, we all, we, we all train coaches as well as coach. And at some point in most trainings, I'll ask people for all the things that they want to know how to do. And we'll flip chart them up, put them up on a whiteboard, whatever. And inevitably, when we go through the list, if there's 50 things on the list, I know that 48 of them won't be questions once they've done 100 coaching sessions. Mm. Right? In any arena, 
there are things you can only learn when you're in the game mm. that when you're on the sideline look like you need to learn in order to be in the game, but that's the wrong order. Yeah. And, and that is an element of what, once you understand that, it makes no sense to stand on the sidelines and think about it and ponder it and go, would I enjoy that? Am I going to be good at that? Because you can't possibly know because there's a whole resource in us that is only unleashed when we're in the game that we don't have access to. Our superpowers don't work from the sidelines. And that's why it makes such a difference to be in the game versus think about being in the game, wonder what it would be like, et cetera. Right. So if I could, I want to pick up on your, what you just said two minutes ago, the two words you used, which were superpowers. I think one of the, one of the, um, part of the misunderstanding that we can actually clear up maybe a little bit right now, more in early June, is that when I say understanding, I'm, and I say understand who you truly are, slash what the human experience truly is, is a back and forth between this idea, this activity of a personal self, alone, isolated self, incapable self, and waking up to the true self, who you, who you are. That's what I said before, freedom, wisdom, love, inspiration, consciousness, awareness, God. Part of the misunderstanding is that the personal self, the separate self, has superpowers. That's a misunderstanding. When we find ourselves in that place, we are incapable of getting in the game. And that's okay. This separate self, Garrett, has no superpowers. I'm not even a real entity. I'm just an activity of the true self. And the problem is, without that knowing, you're gonna spin your wheels, the personal separate self, the insecure self who wants and needs and craves is going to spin his or her, her wheels and attempt to get over here. And, in a, and then when we say, okay, this separate guy over here, he's got superpowers, that compounds the confusion even more because it's simply not true. There is no human being that has superpowers. Only consciousness, awareness, God, the true self, has, is the superpower. That's another word for it. So, this is why understanding, guys, is so essential, you know, and, and, and this is, this is um, sure, we could talk about some of the things we, we've learned in our experience about coaching and getting in the game and being in the game. That's all well and good. But in my mind, this is why the first step must be that understanding, because if you don't know who you truly are and what that and what the separate self actually is, I see this thrown around a lot in this so-called community that this that we have superpowers. That's it. That's a slippery slope. And that's not what you meant, Michael, because you were talking about the, the game, the one making things happen, the one creating, as you're so, you so aptly talk about in your program. So that to me is essential. I'm glad you brought it up. I actually had it in my mind to talk about that and I totally forgot it. And well, I and I, I think the other thing that's really important for me though, because I completely, what you, you, that is the problem with talking about superpowers, but it's the problem with talking. <laughs> <laughs> right. As soon as we start talking, we're in trouble. But, but we are pointing to something. And, and, and it doesn't stop with understanding. I think that's the misunderstanding too, is that, oh, if I understand this, I just do nothing. I just, I mean, I, 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 the number of times I've seen people standing on top of a ship that could have sailed beautifully and they're just standing on the deck watching it sink because, well, we're supposed to do nothing. I know I'm, you know, it's fine. You know, and whereas for me, it's like, I'm really glad it's fine. I'm really glad you're having a wonderful experience of the oneness. How's the book coming? Is it ready for publication? Right, there, there is an element to which there's a common sense thing that kicks in too, where, where at some point, 
for better or for worse, I've never seen anything of note happen without doing stuff. And it doesn't have to be effortful. It doesn't have to come from making myself do it or driving myself. In fact, it rarely anything good comes from that kind of energy. But there is a, and I, you know, there are problems with this formulation as well, but there is a kind of an effortless doing that when I see people really in the game, it, 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 yeah, their body might be exhausted at the end. Yeah, they, 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 they may have put in a lot of hours, but those hours are riding on the wind of enthusiasm. Those, those hours are riding on, on the winds of curiosity. Those, those, those hours are, 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 are not coming from some inner pain trying to get out. They're just the flow, the, the updraft of mind, of God, of whatever this is that we are made of. So you can understand all you want, but one of the things at some point you'll understand is if you don't do anything, not a lot's going to happen in the world of form. You don't have to do anything to fix your mood. You don't have to do anything to be enlightened. You don't have to do anything in the inner world but they're different worlds and they have a different physics and they're both relevant to getting things done. It, I really like that. And the thing I'd add, just because I hear, I hear this a lot, people will hear something they'll go, okay, so once I can get that effortless, enthusiastic feeling, then I'll be right. And it's like, you don't have to wait because one of the things to me about getting in the game is you, you get in the game anyway, unless you don't like sometimes, sometimes you don't, but you don't have to wait for that. You, Cause often it shows up when you're already, when you're already, when you're already on the ice, when you're already on the field. And so that's where the understanding comes again, knowing that you don't have to wait and you can, but you don't have to, there's something about that too. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, um, yeah, we're just kind of coming, planning the cycle pretty much of getting in the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I just want to stress that it's in, in, in a, that I don't want people to come to the workshop this is going to sound strange, maybe. I don't know. I'll just let it let it rip here. That it's totally going to sound strange that I just said. It. <laughs> <laughs> you well, you got to say it now. <laughs> come to the workshop for personal gain. If you're if you're looking, if you sit in the audience and you're saying, "How can I improve my?" consulting practice, my coaching practice by what I'm learning. You're saying, how can I improve my relationship with my spouse? How can I make more money? How can I, how can I, how can I? You're going to miss, you're going to miss the gist of what we're ultimately pointing to. Even listening to you guys, I'm prone to listen from that ear. I, I admit it. I am like, what can I get out of what Jamie's saying? What can I, how can I, how can I uh, use Michael's amazing insights and in, into creativity for my own business here? I, I, I do it. And that's fine. I don't think that's a problem. However, the insecurity that floods through me as I do that is just amazingly debilitating. And it, it has a way of latching on to us and making us want, okay, I just need to listen more for more personal. I'm not listening hard enough or something. And then you kind of wake up to what's happening and you settle down and you listen from the other ear to understand, merely to understand, as I said before. And when you, when, when we listen, when we watch, when we, do anything to understand, it seems to me that 
whatever getting in the game means seems to just happen more in, instinctively, intuitively, as you were saying, less effort with less effort. So I, I really would suggest even this video or the, in the course and stuff, like listen to understand. It's why Sid Banks, for example, didn't want people taking notes. He didn't, he didn't, if you needed to take notes, he would always say, you don't understand what, what, you, what you're hearing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think, I think getting in the game kicks off with understanding it and the rest just kind of happens from there. And I, and I, I would say what I'm hearing you say differently and maybe it isn't what you're saying. So that's possible too. I actually do. I, I think you're going to come for personal gain. I like, like if, if you don't think you're going to get something out of it, if, if, even if it's only an enjoyable couple of days, what, why would you come? But you can't listen for application. See what, 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 what I'm hearing you express. And I get that too, is, is what I would call listening for application. Like, how can I apply this? How does this apply to my life? How, like that kind of listening will not get you there, but that doesn't mean ultimately the reason that we're saying, Hey, listen, understand, of course, that is going to lead to personal gain that otherwise there'd be no point, but you can't, you can't listen. You can't listen for, well, okay you know, what's going to help me with this one problem I've come with? Is this the bit that's going to help me with it? Is this the bit? That kind of listening, I agree. You, you don't hear much. But go back to what you just said. How, how could personal gain how, how could personal be the point? How, how, how is that even... I, mean, I don't. I, I know you really well. That doesn't jo doesn't line up with my with my the Michael Neal I know. Well, maybe I mean may, maybe I hear personal gain differently. Like I I I didn't get into <laughs> this understanding. I didn't I didn't come into this world because I wanted to understand life. I came into this world because my life was pretty good and, and it, 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 there were bits of it that were, were better and bits of it that were worse, but I, I saw the possibility of a, a different way of being in the world. And that's what brought me here. Now, I found out quickly that all my old learning strategies didn't help here, that my deductive mind and my ability to kind of analyze and parse and model, that that was of no use to me here. But what brought me here was a sense that there was something on offer that would make my life a nicer place to be. And that is, in fact, exactly what I've gotten and why 10 years in, this is still my life. This is still the game that I'm in 24-7. I love this game. That's what it means to me. Mm. Not, I'm going to win a trophy. It seems to me that kind of the difference between praying for a better life for us, for ourself, or asking the universe for praying for, and don't, it's not a religious thing praying, I just mean kind of putting it out there. Um, asking the universe for um, a special colleague that we can share really cool insights and grow together. It seems that's, that's not, per to me, that's a, put that out there and that tends to happen. Whereas asking the universe to give you a better life, not you, Michael Neal, any, anyone a better life, you, you spin in your wheels. So the, the universe in my mind conspires to make impersonal prayers come true. And it may sound cheesy, but it's just my overwhelming experience and the experience of those I work for. Whereas the personal <laughs> putting the personal thing out there just gets squashed because God, God, God the, the consciousness doesn't understand the personal. So it can't even, it can't even answer that request. It has no, it, it doesn't see in the personal. When, when you, when you, when you ask the universe for the universal, for love, peace, happiness, that is, you're asking the true self, you're asking God, for exactly what it is and what you are. So it's, it, it lines up. And 
it's kind of an important distinction that I'm, I'm psyched we touched on. You know what? To me, you've just defined getting in the game. Uh, and I, I'm going to put this out there, and I, I'd be amazed if this isn't how you guys are playing this as well. To me, getting in the game is kind of saying to life, show me the way. Show me the way. I'll fucking do it. I'm all in. Show me the way. I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. And have your way with me, life. I'm at your service. And it's scary. And it's exciting. And it's cool. And it means doing things that make you really shit yourself. And it, may, it, it means growing. And it means uh, not knowing how it's going to turn out. And not knowing what's going to happen. And doing it anyway. And when you're willing to orient yourself to life in that way, cool things happen. And really uncomfortable things happen. And uh, uh, things happen that you didn't expect, but it's like, it's, it's an adventure. It's, uh, it, it opens something up that isn't there when you're trying to tell life how life should operate. So to me, that right there is the essence of getting in the game. Nice. Yeah, no, it's a, a, absolutely. A, absolutely. <laughs>